Hey everyone, this is Nicole Glass and today I just want to tell a quick story and that is the story of how I sold my very first photograph. I bought my first DSLR in the year 2012 and at the time I was interning at National Geographic. I was a journalism student but I thought I'd pick up photography because I wanted to actually supplement my stories with my own photographs. I wasn't thinking about becoming a photographer professionally, I just thought it would add to my stories and it would also give me the chance to take better pictures in my life in general. So in March of 2012 I actually went to New York and I went to an event called the Memory Championship, which is basically a gathering of people who are competing to be the memory champions of the world. Basically, this championship tries to find the person with the best memory. It's actually not that interesting or exciting of an event because you're just kind of sitting around and watching people take tests, but hey, it was cool. It was making for a good story. So because I was interning at National Geographic at the time, I had asked them, do you guys mind if I write a blog post for you on this topic? Basically, I wanted to put out a writing sample and also cover something that I thought was pretty interesting. So I had my brand new camera with me, of course, and I took a couple of photos at the event, probably on automatic settings. I don't even remember. I was brand new at photography. Once I published my blog entry on National Geographic's website, I added my picture to the post, and that was that. A few days later, I got an email from a person who was working at a newspaper in Norway, and that person basically asked me if I would be willing to sell my photo that he saw on the blog post. It was a very average photo, nothing spectacular at all, but this Norwegian newspaper was writing about memory. They were doing a huge feature on, you know, memory and they wanted a picture from the Memory Championship in New York. Fortunately, I was one of very few people who were there documenting it, and even though my photo wasn't very good, I was in the right place at the right time, and I had a photo that somebody wanted. But of course, having just bought a camera, I had no idea about licensing photos or how to sell photo rights or any of that, so I was really stressed out and clueless about what to respond. So I went to one of my bosses who was in the photo department of National Geographic and I asked her, what should I do? Can I sell my photo? Am I allowed to sell it if I already posted it on the blog? You know, the kind of questions that you have when you're just starting out. And she said to me, yes, of course you can sell your, the photo. It's still your photo. And I asked her, well, I don't know how much. I have no idea. They're asking me how much to sell it for and I have no clue. And she said I should get back to her with the circulation of the newspaper and then she'll tell me what a good price would be. So I found out the circulation was around, uh, I think it was either 300,000 or 600,000, but you know, it might have changed now. And I went back and I told her that's, you know, what the circulation was. And uh, she basically told me a price. She said, sell it to them for $350. I was reluctant because this sounded like a lot to me at the time, you know, being a student. But uh, I wrote an email and they accepted the price and I sent them the photo and that was that. A couple of weeks later, I got a copy of the newspaper in the mail. It had my photo in it. And I was surprised because it was just a very little tiny black and white photo in the newspaper, it was not a big feature image or anything like that. And I was like, wow, I really got, you know, a good chunk of money from this photo to which I still own the rights. And then they wrote me a note saying, we're sorry, we forgot to add photo credit to the image. So we're gonna pay you a little bit more because of our mistake. So they actually sent me $450. Now I really, really wanted the photo credit because this was the first time I was getting like a photo published in a newspaper, but I was still happy because, you know, $450 is $450. And like I said, being a college student, that's significant. So that's sort of how I sold my first photo. I sold it literally within the first month of owning a camera. I didn't try to sell it and I wasn't doing photography professionally at all. It was just a little bit of luck and being in the right place at the right time and putting myself out there by blogging. So what this taught me is that you really have to expose yourself and put your photography out there in as many places as possible. And over the years, I have continued to sell photos and occasionally a photo of mine 
gets sold after someone finds it on my Instagram page or somewhere else. And in those cases, I'm, I'm not even, you know, actively looking for buyers. It's just, you know, somebody stumbled across a photo of mine and I made the sale that way. So basically put yourself everywhere. So that's it, just a little story. I've come a long way since then and I'm kind of embarrassed to show this photo, but hey, it was, that was beginner Nicole. So anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.